I recently received a question on how to handle physical delivery routes. In this instance, a client or each client receives a delivery route and we process sales orders based on that route and delivery orders based on that route. So the client delivers products once a week for a group of clients and they have their own physical trucks that go out and follow a specific route and deliver all these items to the clients. And they want an easy way to track all the different routes, the side routes to specific clients, and then deliver those on the days that are required um, based on the route. So what we're gonna do is build out that flow and see how we can accomplish an Odoo using some studio work. We're gonna make several assumptions here. The first one being that each customer is assigned a route. So this route is going to be an alpha numeric route that corresponds to a specific day of the week. And they may sh ship these out weekly or bi-weekly. So if let's say the, the alpha numeric route was maybe M1, M1 might stand for every Monday once a week. You might have M2, which is every Monday twice uh, or every other week. And then there's one sales rep responsible for each route. So these orders may come in from a website or they might be manually created from a sale over the phone. And depending on the order time, there's going to be a cutoff time, let's say 12 o'clock the day of or the day before. And any orders processed before that time will go out on the corresponding route. So if it's Monday before 12 o'clock and they make the order, they might go out Monday. Otherwise, they will have to go out the following Monday. So each route has a specific delivery date. So with those in mind, let's start building this out. The first thing we want to do, and we'll think through this problem live, is we're going to have to create a custom model of sorts to manage the different routes. So we're going to have to assign each contact a route. So each contact as a customer, we're going to assign them a specific route that we determine based on physical um, limitations. So whatever uh, route has, has needs more clients or a specific physical path that um, a driver is taking. So we will assign those manually. And then we need to assign so we, we need to create a model that represents the routes the day of the week that that goes out and um, how often they go out so let's first create a new model so we'll go into studio we'll create a new model and we'll call this um, let's say delivery routes and then we'll configure the model we'll just leave this as is And now you see a new menu item up here, delivery routes. We're going to go and edit the form view. So what we need here, we have the route name, which will be the description. We're going to do a many to one field for the user or the sales rep. We'll do user. So now we can set a user who is responsible for this route. So that's a many to one field for users. We'll create a date, or maybe we'll do a select box. So we'll do a selection box. It'll be, let's say Monday through Friday. This will be delivery date. And then maybe we also want to see all of the users who have this route. So we'll add a one-to-many on res.partner. 
before we do that, we'll go into um, res.partner and set a route on them. So first let's create a new route. We'll say this is M1, the user assigned will be me. The delivery date will be every Monday. And we might have to add fields to this, but um, we'll start here. So we'll go to contacts. We'll create a new contact. We'll just say this is customer one. We'll go into studio and we'll select a many to one field. And that many to one is going to be based on the routes. So we'll see, we have delivery routes right here. We'll edit delivery route is M1. And in our inventory application, we'll go back to delivery routes. We'll go to edit and we'll do a one to many. And we'll do this on res partner, delivery route from contacts. So we're gonna set that. And you'll see that we have customer one. We might wanna edit this list view, make it a little bit prettier. We just need, we'll remove this. We have the city, we might need the country. We have the salesperson here. So one salesperson is responsible for each route. Um, so we can maybe create an automated action later that automatically sets the salesperson based on the customer's route. So we'll leave all of this. And we have that set up as needed. So we have the user responsible, the delivery date, and the, the customers that have this delivery route. So we'll just say customers. So we'll close that. So now we have the basic information we need for our routes. Again, we might need to edit this based on um, some requirements as we go uh, forward in building out this workflow. But for now, we can set the delivery date or the delivery route for each particular order. Now that we have our custom model, let's go and create a dummy product. So we'll just create product one. We'll add some inventory. Now let's create a sales order. So we have one right here. We can add this product. And then now we're gonna do some studio work here to make things easy. For the meantime, we're gonna to try to keep this as standard as possible, just using studio and um, no Python or anything like that right now. We can probably automate some of this process with development work um, using Python, but for now we won't do that. So we have our delivery date here. And what we wanna do is set this delivery date. So what we'll do is add a related field. So we'll do a related field we're gonna do this on, on the customer. We're gonna do um, delivery route and we'll say day, or what was the name that we had here for the delivery date? So now we have the delivery day right here set to Monday. Um, again, we'll do this manually for now. It's not too much work to do manually. We'll come in here and we'll say, okay, um, the delivery date is Monday. So the next possible delivery date for this customer is going to be Monday the 14th. So we'll set Monday the 14th. We'll save and we'll can confirm this order. Now, if we look at our delivery order, we have the date set as 214. We may also want on the delivery order, the route that this customer has. So we'll bring in the route. We'll bring in another related field to that delivery address. So we'll say delivery address for customer. Let's see. 
contact um, delivery route. As you can see, it's M1 delivery route. So now we have delivery route set. So now we know this customer has a delivery route of M1. If we go to our list view of transfers, we can easily add this route of M1. So we'll add existing fields. We'll say delivery route. Well, we add it on the form view. We can add it anywhere we want. We'll add it right here. So let's just create one more sales order. First, let's create another customer. We'll say customer two. We'll give them a delivery route of M1 as well, and we'll save. We'll create a sales order for this customer as well. We'll just duplicate an existing one and change the customer name. Again, we're gonna go into other info. We're gonna look at the delivery date is Monday, so we'll do the delivery date as the 7th. Again, I'm sorry, the 14th. We'll save, confirm. And we'll look at our inventory. We have two delivery orders to process, but those are not until Monday. And what we can do here is group by the delivery route. So we'll go in studio, we'll go to our search view. We'll add a group by delivery route. That'll be one of our default groups. So now we can group by our delivery route. Now we have all the deliveries that need to go out on Monday, so we know you know, someone is responsible for all these M1s. So then from here, we can process this on the day of. Let's now focus on how exactly we're going to manage our deliveries. So what I did was turn on two-step picking, so, or two-step delivery. So in your warehouse, what you wanna do is select send goods in output and then deliver. And this will allow us to essentially create a new operation type that is of type pick. And when we have orders, we're going to first pick them and then ship them out. We also wanna turn on batch transfers by going into settings and clicking batch transfers here. And batch transfers are going to allow us to batch our transfers together based on the date that they're going out. So now we're going to create two sales orders. So the ones that we originally created, I confirmed um, off this video, and now I'm going to create two new ones. So I'll just duplicate one of these. Same process. We're going to pick our delivery date as of the next Monday that we're allowed to ship this out. We'll save, confirm, do the same thing. So we'll duplicate this, change the customer to customer one, just so we have some more data to work with. And we'll pick the date here as the 14th as well. As you see, two delivery orders are created and that's because one is going to be for picking and one's going to be for shipping. So now in our inventory app, we have two picks to process, two delivery orders waiting. What we'll do now is use the batch transfer functionality. So we'll go into two to process. And again, we can group by delivery route. We can look at all these, select all of the ones in route M1. We're going to go to actions and we're going to add to batch. So we're going to create a new batch transfer. We can give it a responsible person. So I'll just make it myself and confirm. So what's going to do is create a new batch transfer and you can find your batch transfers by going to inventory overview and seeing that you have one batch to process or by going to operations batch transfers and seeing all of your batch transfers that are ready to go. As you can see, again, this date is 214. That's the next time we're going to send all these products out. We can confirm this batch. And now since we've confirmed it, we can go ahead and go to print our batch transfer. And this will allow us to look at all of our different operations that we need to do. And we have the barcodes enabled so we can use the barcode app if we'd like to easily pick and manage all of these operations. Down below, we see our batch. We have to pick product one twice. So one for our pick five and one for our pick six. 
and this is from our warehouse dock to our warehouse output location. And this could double as some type of uh, transfer document that goes to maybe your driver to make sure that they know the listing um, or all the items in this particular batch, along with exporting the individual delivery orders for each particular customer. So now once we go ahead and pick all these items, we can validate that we've picked them. They will now be physically located in our output warehouse or our um, output location in our warehouse. So wherever we're ready to deliver or pack up our goods and put them onto a truck, they will be ready to go and then we'll just process the delivery orders. So again, we can create another batch transfer if we'd like for these. We can group them by delivery route again and we'll say, all right, all of these are going out today. If today was Monday, so we can select them all. Um, we can go to actions, validate if we wanted to, or we can create another batch transfer. We can click add to batch and this will be our second batch. And again, picking then packing is an optional step. I just think it's very helpful. So we're gonna choose a responsible party again, and we're gonna create a new batch transfer. We're gonna go to operations batch transfers and we'll see our batch transfer here. You'll see both of our references, warehouse seven, or warehouse out seven, warehouse out eight. The source document will confirm. Again, we can save and print out our report. For this, we'll just set it and validate that we're sending them out. All right, so now we've managed the very basic aspect of grouping these by their different delivery routes batching together and making sure we manage the delivery dates. A bit of a manual process, but very doable and an out of the box solution. The next thing we wanna do is add some customizations to how we pick these products. So in this particular example, we're going to assume that we have a specific order in which we know we're going to deliver these products. And we're going to set that ahead of time on our contact records so that when we deliver the products, we can pick them in a certain order and make sure that we put them on the truck in a particular order. That way it's easy to on and offload all of our items. <clears throat> so what we'll do is add a sequence field to our customers. So we have our delivery route. We're just going to create a new field and we'll just um, give it an integer. And we'll say this is Sequence. Now each customer is going to have a sequence and this is going to dictate when we deliver the products to them on our particular route. So delivery route M1, this is going to have a sequence. Let's say we had a lot of different people on here. Uh, this might you know, be higher, but we'll just say this is going to be, for the sake of example, I'll say this is 10. And for customer two, we'll give this a five. So now we have 10 and five. So customer one is going to be delivered after customer two. So customer two will get delivered to first on our route. We may wanna see that in our delivery routes here so we can add that to our list view. So we'll edit this list view and we'll add our sequence. Now we clearly see what sequence and what order each one is going to get delivered to. So let's make a new sales order. Well, before we actually do that, let's go into our inventory. We'll go to our batch transfers. We'll look at one of the completed ones and we're going to do some customization here. So first thing we're gonna do is bring in our related field from our contact. So this is the contact of this transfer. So we're gonna bring in a related field in this list view. So we'll edit the list view. We'll bring in a related field and we'll say transfer customer or contact and we'll say sequence. And we'll just name this sequence. And now what we wanna do is make sure that this is displayed 
in order of sequence on our report. So when we print our report, uh, we know what order to pick and pack the items in. So we'll go to reports, we'll look at our batch transfer report. And as you can see, these transfers are originally ordered by uh, the transfer date, which is also like the transfer here. So seven, eight, and that corresponds to this date right here, typically at least. We'll go into the XML and we'll edit this report. We'll scroll down to for each picking and we're going to add some code right here that I've copied and I'm going to paste it in. This code is going to allow us to sort by the sequence field. So this is going to allow us to sort the picking IDs by our sequence field that we added on the list view. And we can easily create the sequence field here in studio. Um, I'll just edit it here. It will be quick. So I'll just say th sequence. And I'll add another tab down here. And we'll call this, we'll just copy and paste this. And we'll save. So you'll see the sequence is here. And just to verify that this sequence field is being sorted correctly, um, right now it's in order. So we can just do reverse equals true. Oops, spelled reverse wrong. There we go. As you see, it reordered based on the sequence. So we'll leave it in ascending order. So we'll take this away. And we'll save. So now we have our sequence. We know in which order we need to process all of these pickings. If we wanted to, we can add that down below in the same manner. If we wanted to pick our items in a particular way, if we're using the barcode app, then we just follow this order for the pickings and make sure that we separated in that order. So now we're able to not only um, batch our deliveries together, but we can sequence it and we can make sure that um, all of our items are picked in the order that makes sense to put on the delivery truck. And that whole sequence of events um, should be pretty seamless. Of course, there are some automations that can be done, set, uh, such as the delivery routes. If we really wanted to, we can make sure that this is a date field, then we can calculate the next date. Um, this would be a little bit more of a development using some Python um, and automated actions or scheduled actions to update the state for the next available Monday based on um, some criteria, criteria that you wanna set here. And then maybe we automatically set the date on a sales order based on the customer's um, delivery date. So if it's Monday and the system knows that today's Tuesday, and maybe we set a every other week, um, so every 14 days on this one, it will calculate for us the delivery date. So that'd be a little bit further of a development, but I think this is fine for now. And it's pretty much an out of the box solution with a little bit of XML to sort our batches um, in the manner that we want them sorted. So all in all, that is how we can manage our delivery routes.